सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग विथ अर सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन डिस्टिलेशन particularly in this video we will be looking at pack column distillation which is a type of fractional distillation column in this video we will be looking at what is a pack column distillation then we will be looking at the types of pack column distillation and the differences between the types of pack column distillation which is difference between structure packing and random packing distillation okay guys so let's get started guys in the beginning of the video firstly we will be looking at what is a pack column distillation so guys a pack column distillation which is also known as a pack distillation column or a simple pack column is a type of separation equipment which is used in the chemical petrochemical and other process industries for the separation and purification of components in a liquid mixture guys it's a key element in the distillation process which exploits the differences in the boiling points to separate the components so guys in simple language a pack column distillation is a type of fractional distillation column in which packing materials are been placed and that is to have a contact between vapor and liquid which is to purify the components guys we need to have concentration on the types of packing which is used and based on the types of the packing it is classified further into two which is structured packing column and other is a random packing column so guys here now we will be looking at the structured packing and the column made of the structured packing is known as structured packing column okay guys the structured packing consists of specifically designed geometrical arrangement of corrugated sheets case or wire mesh that are organized and orderly managed within the column The main goal is to maximize the surface area for vapor liquid contact and which is to enhance the separation efficiency. So guys, in the structured packing as you all can see in the picture displayed, it consists of a corrugated sheets or a wire mesh that is organized orderly in a manner within the column and which is with the motto to have a vapor liquid contact to enhance the separation efficiency. Okay guys, I hope the description and the purpose of structured packing is clear to you. Now moving on towards the characteristics of structured packing from which the first is the high surface area guys structured packing provides a high surface area per unit volume promoting the efficient mass transfer between the vapors and the liquid phase the other characteristic is of high efficiency due to its organized structure the structured packing typically offers higher separation efficiency compared to random packing okay the next characteristic is about low pressure drop here structure packing is designed to provide good vapor and liquid distribution while maintaining a relatively low pressure drop across the column then the next characteristic is about uniform liquid distribution guys the structure arrangement in the structure packing helps to ensure even liquid distribution over the packing surface which contributes to better separation performance Okay guys so these were the four main characteristics of structured packing which were high surface area high efficiency low pressure drop and uniform liquid distribution guys now we will be looking at some of the examples of structured packing in examples of structured packing the first is the melapack the melapack consists of a corrugated metal sheets which is arranged in a specific configuration okay The next example of structured packing is flexi pack. Flexi pack utilizes a flexible textured surface to enhance the mass transfer. And the next example is of jam pack which features a structured arrangement of mesh. So guys, these were the three examples of structured packing which were mela pack, flexi pack and jam pack. Okay? So guys, this was a brief on structured packing. Now we will be looking at the other type of packing which is random packing. Guys, random packing consists of irregularly shaped objects randomly placed within the column. The shapes can include ring, saddle or other geometrical forms. The randomness of a packing promotes the turbulence and create multiple pathways for vapor and liquid to interact. So guys, in random packing random objects like green saddle are placed into the column which is to have a turbulence and have a vapor liquid interaction which totally differs from structured packing now guys 
we'll be looking at the characteristics of random packing, from which the first is the turbulence and mixing. The irregular arrangement of random packing induces turbulence and mixing, facilitating vapor liquid contact and separation. Okay, guys, the second characteristic is of versatility. Random packing is versatile and can be used in various applications due to the availability of different shapes and materials. Guys, the third characteristic of random packing is mechanical stability. Random packing is often mechanical stable, less prone to damages during installation or operation. Okay guys, and the last characteristic of random packing is lower cost. Generally, a random packing tends to be more cost effective compared to structured packing. So guys, these were the four main characteristics of random packing. Now we'll be looking at some of the examples of random packing, from which the first is the rashing ring. Rashing ring are simple cylindrical rings made up of ceramic, metal or plastic. Other example of random packing is pole rings. Pole rings are open cylindrical structure with several internal and external layers. And the last example of random packing is interlock saddle. Interlock saddle resembles a series of stacked rings providing a large surface area. So guys, these were some of the most commonly used random packings. Guys, the choice between the structured and random packing depends on the factor such as the desired separation efficiency, pressure drop limitations, the nature of the component being separated and the economical considerations. Okay? Structured packing is often favored when high efficiency is crucial while the random packing may be chosen for its versatility and cost effectiveness. The decision is made typically based on the balance of the factors to meet the specific requirement of the separation process. Okay guys, you all know that structured pack column and random pack column are two types of pack distillation column and which are used for separation of the component in a mixture. Now let's dive into the key differences between them. The first key difference is of geometry and arrangement. Guys, in the case of structured packing, the geometry is organized and structure arrangement of corrugated sheet, gauze or mesh is there. While comparing it with random packing, random packings are having irregular shapes such as ring, saddle and other random forms. Then guys, in the arrangement of structured packing, the components are placed in a specific repeating pattern providing a high and predictable surface area for vapor liquid contact. While in the case of random packing, the components are randomly placed within the column which creates a white space and induce the turbulence. Okay? Now the next difference is of surface area and mass transfer. Guys in the case of structured packing, it offers a high surface area per unit volume. And in the case of random packing, it provides a relatively lower, less predictable surface area. And talking about mass transfer, the structure packing promotes efficient mass transfer between vapor and liquid phase. While for the random packing, the mass transfer induces turbulence, facilitating vapor liquid contact and mass transfer. Now guys, the third key difference is of separation efficiency. Here guys, in the structured packing, it generally provides higher separation efficiency due to the organized arrangement and high surface area. And in the case of random packing, it offers a lower separation efficiency compared to the structured packing, but is often sufficient for many applications. Okay? Now moving on towards the fourth key difference, which is pressure drop. Guys, in structured packing, it is engineered to maintain a relatively low pressure drop across the column. While for the case of random packing, it typically results in a high pressure drop compared to the structured packing. Okay, now the next difference is of liquid distribution. In structured packing, the structured arrangement aids in uniform liquid distribution over the packing surface. While in the case of random packing, it relies on the chaotic arrangement to promote even liquid distribution, which is not that efficient compared to the structured packing. Now the next difference is of mechanical stability. Talking about mechanical stability, in the structured packing, it offers a good mechanical stability due to the organized and supported structure. But in the case of random packing, it is generally mechanical stable and the irregular shapes provide resistance to damage. Okay. Now the next difference is of versatility and cost. 
talking about versatility and cost, the structure packing in terms of versatility is suitable for application where high efficiency is crucial. And in terms of cost, the structure packing is often more expensive than random packing. And in the case of random packing, random packings are versatile and adaptable to various applications. And looking at the cost point of view, they are generally more cost effective compared to structured packing. Now the next key difference which is in terms of application. Guys, structure packing are suited for application with higher separation efficiency and where precision is essential. Structured packing is often used in processes which is requiring a high degree of purity. Okay guys, now talking about random packing. Random packing is applied in situation where efficiency requirement are met with lower cost and where precision is not as critical. And the random packing are versatile and suitable for large range of separation processes. Okay. Now the last key difference is in terms of examples. The structure packing examples include Melapack, FlexiPack and JamPack. While the random packing examples include Rushing Ring, Ball Ring, Pearl Ring, Interlock Saddle and many more. Okay guys, so these were some of the key differences between structured packing and random packing. To summarize this, the choice between the structured packing and random packing depends on the specific requirement of the separation process. It also depends on some of the factors such as cost, efficiency and the nature of components being separated. So guys, that's all for this video where we discussed about pack column distillation. We also looked at various types of pack column distillation which was in terms of structured packing and random packing. And finally, at the end, we also looked at the differences between the structured packing and random packing. So guys, that's all for this video. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. And guys, for more videos related to chemical engineering, process engineering, chemical safety, industrial safety, you can subscribe to this channel. And guys, feel free to leave any questions or comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in next video.